Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you like budget friendly DIYs, then I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. I'm really excited to be sharing with you five fall decor DIYs that were really easy to make. So for project number one, I'm using this plastic little bucket. It has a lot of beautiful little details. This came from Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using my white Waverly chalk paint. And I'm going to give that two good coats on the inside and outside of the bucket, including the bottom as well. So once that has completely dried, I am going to take my black chalkboard paint and give this a cute little enamel wear look. I apologize in advance, you guys. I have a bit of a cold, so I do sound a little stuffy. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Um, now I'm just going to take the black chalkboard paint and paint the top rim as well as the top portions of the handles on this little um, bucket. And it has, like I said, a lot of beautiful little details on here. So the under the little handles, it has like a little rectangular piece that makes it look like the little handles are attached to the bucket. And I go ahead and paint those black as well as the top portion of the little handles there. I do leave the handle themselves silver because I like the way that looks. And this is how it looks once it has completely dried. And I'll give you a little bit more of a close-up look of those little detail pieces there under the handle. So cute. And I did get a little bit of white paint on the little silver portion, so I just scrape that off with my fingernail and wipe it down really good, and it just comes right off. So now that everything's completely dried, I'm going to put one of these little peel and stick stickers that you can pick up at Dollar Tree, and I chose the word thankful. I went ahead and cut that out, and I'm just going to peel that off and place it in the center front portion of the bucket and just push that down nice and flat. I wanted to go ahead and protect all my paint because I'm going to be de decorating this with some florals and I didn't want to scratch my chalk paint. So I do go ahead and use my matte Mod Podge and go on the entire outside as well as the inside of this little bucket. And I do make sure that that completely dries. So while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint two of these cute little pumpkins from Dollar Tree in my Waverly chalk paint, paint in the color Celery. I am a little bit obsessed with this color right now. I absolutely love this celery color. So I'm going to give those two good coats of paint and allow those to completely dry. And of course, since I pulled the little florals off the top, I need to make little stems. So I'm going to use two of these little wooden pit, uh, wooden stems from Dollar Tree. And they were a little bit taller on these size pumpkins than I wanted. So I took my box cutter and just cut the top portion of the little pumpkin out until I got it to the desired depth where I could push the little stem down and thought that, you know, that the little stem would look appropriate for this size pumpkin. So I do go ahead and take that out and push it down to make sure it's the right size before I take my hot glue and secure the little stem down. You don't have to put the hot glue in there, but I did just because I don't want them to fall out um, of the little pumpkin. So I do that for both of those. And now it is time to decorate this cute little bucket now that everything has dried. So I use um, some of the Dollar Tree's floral foam, styrofoam, and I just put it in there. I didn't hot glue it because I want to be able to use this bucket all year long, and I didn't want to just use it just for flowers. Um, but I'm just going to set those little styrofoam pieces in there, and I'm going to use some of these burlap sunflowers and these little foxtails. Both of these came from Dollar Tree. And I just cut those off of the bundles and just placed them where I thought that they would look really nice. So I used one bundle of the foxtails and two of the little bundles of the burlap sunflowers. And I'm also going to be using two of these little orange pumpkins from Dollar Tree. And I loved the color of those but I did not like the plastic stems. So I took some hemp rope and just hot glued that around those little plastic stems to give it a little bit more of a realistic look. I'm also gonna be using two of these little fall picks from Dollar Tree as well. It has these cute little pine cones, berries, and pumpkins on there. 
and I'm just going to place one on each side. So I wanted my pumpkins to stand up really nicely so you could see those. So I do put an extra little piece of styrofoam in there. And of course, I wanted my little celery colored pumpkin to be the little showcase piece. And I wanted it to stand up a lot taller. So I do use um, a piece of a wooden insert from a previous DIY. I used the outer portion of that little box. It came from Dollar Tree. This is just the inner portion. And I'm gonna set that on my styrofoam inside the bucket so that little pumpkin can sit up nice and pretty. And then um, I'm also using two of my little white pumpkins that I did in a previous DIY because I liked the way these colors look together. And once I kind of position them and kind of get an idea of how I want everything to lay out, I'm going to take all my little pumpkins out and I'm going to take some raffia and push that down in there. And it's going to keep those little styrofoam pieces from moving around, but it's also going to cover them up and give it a nice little finished look and a nice little fall look. And then I'll place my little pumpkins back in there. And I will show you in just a moment how lovely this little project turned out. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this project. It is so cute. I really love it, and I hope you did too. And I love the fact that you can use this bucket all year long, and you don't have to use it as just a centerpiece or a floral arrangement. So let's move on to project number two, which is very, very simple and very, very easy to make. So I'm going to be using this 8x10 picture frame from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to remove the back as well as the glass, and I'm going to give it two coats of my Deco Art Chalky Finished Gray Paint. I absolutely love the color of this paint. I will leave a link to in my description box below for this paint if you guys are interested. It is so beautiful. I love the way this color turns out. And I give it two good coats on the inside and outside edges of the frame and allow that to completely dry. So for the insert of this beautiful little picture frame, I'm gonna be using one of the pictures from a 2020 calendar that I picked up at Goodwill. And I think I paid maybe 15 cent, it could have been 10 cent, I'm not quite sure, but um, it was not more than 15 cent for the whole calendar. And I chose to use this bushel of apples with the little bird, it's so beautiful. And I just take the back portion of the picture frame and lined it up where I wanted my picture, traced it out, and then cut it down, put the glass back in there, put the little picture in the backing, and this is how beautiful she turned out. So simple, so easy to make, and so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed project number two as well. So now let's move on to project number three. I'm going to be using this cute little sign from the Dollar Tree. I've gone ahead and taken some sandpaper and tried to remove most, if not all, of the glitter from the top part of the sign that said Autumn. And I'm going to use my painter's tape and tape around all the little ribbon pieces because I don't want to get paint on those. And I do like the color of the little ribbon. It's like a little burlap color. And once I get all that little tape pieces in there, I'm going to take my white Waverly chalk paint and give it two coats of paint on the um, entire part of the sign, including the outside edges, because once you hang this up, you will be able to see those. And I do get in between all the little sections as well. That's why I went ahead and covered up those little burlap ribbon pieces. So now that that has dried, and you can see that I've got all the little inside edges. I'm going to use another section of the same calendar, and I chose to use the October month with this beautiful colored pumpkin and these little birds. And I'm just going to line that up on top of my sign, try to make sure that the sign is very straight. And you don't want to push your tape down too, too much because you don't want to rip your um, picture when you remove the tape because you're going to have to tape it down and pull it back up a lot um, and you don't want to destroy your picture. So I just lined it up where I wanted it and I'm only tracing the top section of the picture out 
because once I cut that down, I want everything to line up really pretty on this sign in little sections. So I just, um, you know, lightly secured that with the tape, flipped it over, traced it around, cut it out. And then I'm going to lay that down so that I can line the next section up to make sure like the birds and the little flowers and the pumpkins line up together and push it up to the little edge of that next section. And then I will repeat that process by putting a little bit of tape on there to secure it so that I can flip it over and trace that section out and then remove it and cut it down. And I'm gonna do that all the way down until I don't have any more of the little calendar picture left. So obviously it's not gonna cover up the entire sign, which I'm okay with because I like the shape of the top and the bottom part of this little sign. And I am gonna give it some paint to make it blend in a little bit better, the top part and the bottom part of the sign. So I did use the chalk paint for two purposes. For one, I went ahead and painted behind all the little pictures so that you would see what the sign previously had on there because the little calendar picture is a little thin and you don't wanna be able to see through it and see what was already on there. And also I used it as a primer for the top portions so that when I paint it with my acrylic paint, um, it will blend in really nicely. So once I get all those cut out and everything is nice and straight the way I want it, I am gonna use my Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color Warm Buff, and I'm gonna give that two good coats at the top part of the side, as well as the portion at the bottom that the little calendar doesn't cover up. And you'll have to let me know in the comments down below, would you have left it white? or do you like the warm buff color better? I thought that this would give it um, a nice little finished look because this little warm buff is similar to the color in the stem of the pumpkin on the picture. So now that it is all dried, I've removed my little tape pieces from the ribbon. It is time to Mod Podge, and I'm gonna use my Mod Podge in matte um, to put the little calendar pieces on there. And I make sure that I have nice little even brush strokes and not like a lot of excess glue in there, but you do want to make sure you have enough that all the little paper um, will stay on there. And I'll just take my hand and push any little wrinkles out that may be on there. And then I do go ahead and take my Mod Podge and go over top of it just to protect that picture. And then if you need to take any excess off, you could take the excess off. And this is how she turned out once it is completely dry. Absolutely love this little sign. And if you like this cute little pumpkin in the bottom left-hand corner, well, that is our project number four. So we're gonna be using this styrofoam pumpkin from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the stem and the little circle at the top. I'm gonna to take my box cutter and just cut around that little circle because this is a hollow pumpkin and just trim that out so I can take that top section out. And then I'll make sure I get all that little excess styrofoam out from the inside of the little pumpkin. Again, with this beautiful celery color, chalk paint made by Waverly, I'm gonna give it two good coats of this um, celery color, allowing it to completely dry. And I do go ahead and get the inside top portion of the rim there in that color. I'm gonna be using three of the little leaves out of this 50 pack from Dollar Tree. These are, um, they had like maybe six of the little burlap type leaves and the rest were more of a different type of material. But I go ahead and paint those down with my white Waverly chalk paint and make sure those completely dry. So now that my pumpkin is dry, my leaves are dry, I'm gonna take this little glass from the Dollar Tree it's about six inches tall, and I'm not quite sure of the diameter, but it's about, it's the diameter of the top portion of this little pumpkin. And I'm just gonna push that down and make sure that it is nice and level um, inside the little pumpkin. And then I'm going to take my little leaves and hot glue those around, putting that on the pumpkin portion, um, and then kind of bending the little end pieces of the leaves up to give it more of a little, finished realistic type look. So to um, give it even more of a finished look, I'm gonna take my hemp rope and I'm gonna hot glue that down 
a little a little ways out from the glass on top of the leaves a little bit and I'm just going to hot glue that around sort of like a circle trying to stay even with all of the leaves um, go all the way around and I'm just going to make my way up to the glass and then make my way back out to where I started from if that makes sense it's going to give it a nice little full look you could use some thicker rope if you like. Um, I just wanted to use this hemp rope. Hemp rope's really nice. It doesn't have all those little frayed edges and extra little excess pieces on it. That's why I really like using it. But you just, I just went from the outside up to the glass and then made my way back out to give it a nice little full look. And this is how it looks once I get all of that on there and glued down. So now I'm going to make a cute little bow to go on there, and I'm going to use this brown thin um, ribbon from Dollar Tree and just make my little loops and make my little bow there. I'm going to put like little three little loops on each side, and then I'll take up that little piece that I already cut after I squeeze that together, and I'm going to use that as the center portion to glue my little bow down. And once I get that little bow nice and secure, I'm going to glue it on top of the hemp rope between two of the little leaves and let that glue set. And then I'm going to use some of these beautiful little LED leaf, excuse me, LED leaf lights from Dollar Tree. Uh, this is so cute. It's going to give it a little pop of color. And I've gone ahead and put my batteries in there and turn it on and just put it down inside the little glass there and it gives it a nice cute little pop of color i really like this project and i hope you did too and so for our last and final project of this video project number five we are going to be using these little wood cutouts it is a maple leaf and an acorn and I'm going to go ahead and remove the top portion of the little tag there. And I'm going to use my uh, Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint in Nutmeg. And I'm just going to mix that down with a little bit of water to make it more of like a little stain color. And I'm going to put that on both sides of the sign. And I did that because some of these little pieces um, have different variations in the wood grain. So that way I can see which variation I like the best and choose that as the part that I want to display. So now that that is completely dried, I'm going to take my painter's tape and some stencils and I'm just going to, um, I use the painter's tape as a guide just to make sure I kind of keep my wording straight across the sign and on the little leaf I'm going to stencil out the words maple syrup and on the little acorn I'm going to stencil out the words farm fresh. And then once I get all of those stenciled out, I'm going to use my oil-based black Sharpie and go around the outline of each of those um, word letters and then fill that in with my black Sharpie. And it's just going to make it pop off of this sign. It's super, super cute. And then I'm going to make some cute little bows to go on the top of each of the little signs. So now that I am finishing that up, we can move on to creating the little bows. So for the little acorn, I chose to use um, one of these little wired burlap leaves from Dollar Tree and this chevron um, ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I do cut part of the little leaf down so that I can position it at the top of the acorn and make me a little simple bow to go at the top with little loops. Again, I just like to take the little center section, squeeze it, and then glue it down with another piece of the same fabric or the same ribbon. I'm going to glue my little leaf down as well as my little bow. And then for, um, I'm going to take my hemp rope and make the little hanger just Actually, I used jute twine on that one and double knotted it and pushed it to the back. And for the maple leaf, I'm just going to make a cute little orange bow from ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And then again, double knot my little hanger. And these little signs are complete. 
I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you have a favorite out of these five projects, please let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please take care, and I will see you next time.